whether you train once or several times per week, you want to ensure you're getting the most out of your training. So one question you might have asked is, when is the best time to train? Naturally, we're going to view the science to answer this question. And when doing so, we're best looking at systematic reviews and meta-analyses. Essentially, these provide us with a summary of the body of evidence. Some studies show one thing, others show something else. But what does the totality of the evidence show? A systematic review and meta-analysis by Gurdjieff et al. Reviewing the effects of time of day, specific resistance training on adaptation in skeletal muscle hypertrophy and muscle strength has the answer to our question. And here are the findings. At baseline, a significant difference in strength between morning and evening is evident with greater strength observed in the evening hours. Resistance training in the morning hours may increase strength assessed in the morning to similar levels of strength assessed in the evening. Training in the evening hours, however, maintains the general difference in strength across the day with greater strength observed in the evening hours. When comparing the effects between the groups, training in the morning versus in the evening hours increases in strength are similar in both groups regardless of the time of day which strength assessment is conducted. And increases in muscle size are similar irrespective of the time of day at which training is performed. In short, we're strong in the evenings, but that doesn't necessarily correlate to more strength or muscle gains. When you when you dig into the studies, you could argue there might be some slight advantage to training in the in the evenings, but when reviewing the overall body of evidence, we can see it's not statistically significant. So if there's no muscle building or strength gaining advantage to training in the evening versus the morning, or at least nothing worth getting excited about. What time should we train? So it's a good question. Pick a time that best suits you, a time you feel good, strong, and a time you can stick with. You want you want to avoid training sporadically, as uh, if if because well, there's there's merit to train at the same time each day. It, it, it really allows you to solidify that habit. Personally, I train around 3 p.m. each day. Why? A couple of reasons. I don't feel strong in the morning. Those 30 kg dumbbells feel like 40s at 5 a.m. In the morning, my body is weak, but my brain is pretty strong. So I capitalize on that and commit the morning to client programming. I do enjoy coffee and programming more than I enjoy 5 a.m. split squats. And later in the evening, a little well, later in the day, I'm well fed and, and feel stronger compared to if I trained fasted, which I would do if I trained in the morning. Though it's important to remember that I'm not you. You might love training in the morning as it, it wakes you up, it makes you feel amazing, energized. I'm ready to grab the day by the horns. For many, starting the day with one thing that's very conducive to your health creates a snowball effect, resulting in making better and healthier decisions throughout the day. Or you might enjoy training in the morning because if you trained in the evening, you'd be exhausted from a day's work, which often results in skipping the gym altogether. This this doesn't happen uh, when people train in the morning. I I remember from my one-to-one -one personal training days in Total Fitness Chester, big shout out, that the most consistent people in the gym were the ones who came first thing in the morning. The, the evening faces consistently, consistently changed, but the faces you saw in the morning never did. 
there could have been a blizzard and they'd be rocking up in their ski goggles and axes looking like they've just conquered Mount Everest. Consistency is always something you need to consider. Even if future studies show stat st statistically significant benefit to training at a certain time resulting in the totality of the evidence leaning more towards one than the other, those benefits couldn't possibly overshadow consistency. Consistency is the key. In summary, train at a time that best suits your schedule, a time you feel good, strong, and a time you can stick with religiously, a time that works for you.